Hey. Hi, Laureen. Hi, Patty. How you doing, guys? Good morning. I'm going to plug in my mic. All right. Can you hear me okay? requests for this morning's vinyasa practice? Anything you guys would like to work on? Awesome. I'm so glad you can hear me. All right, I've got my coffee here. So since this is a morning class, each time I've been starting with the idea that every morning is a chance for a fresh start and every thought is an opportunity for renewal, to reset our minds and especially in the morning, it's a good time to, to find ourselves preparing for what we'll encounter throughout the day. So, um, I actually just did a study through my church on this book, and I shared it with the group. Hey, hi, Cindy. Um, I shared it with um, the Christian Yoga Instructor group because I, I like this study so much. It's called Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen, and it's about how to combat negative thinking. And there was a section that I thought I would read this morning while, while I'm waiting for 7.30, and um, it speaks right to that idea that every that we always have an opportunity for a fresh start to renew our minds and that science backs that up. So she talks about how there are all of these billions of nerve cells in our brain and in the cell itself there's a structure like scaffolding that's called a, let me see, a microtubules. So these, so these structures are constantly scaffolding, creating support for whatever thoughts come into our mind and as we're going through our day and maybe pivoting or shifting or um, having to figure out you know, what we're going to do next. And she gives the analogy of building a Lego set, but like a free build. So you've got all your Legos out. And, you know, you start out and you're building a tree. And then halfway through the tree trunk, you decide, you know, I think I want this to be a fence. So you change it. And then halfway through the fence, you decide, you know, I think I want it to be a wall. And I'm going to build it into a fort. So as you're building, your brain is, is working to figure out, well, how are we going to change the plan? And so um, inside, your, inside your neurons, these microtubules are constantly building and deconstructing reforming and coming apart and adjusting and shifting, stopping and starting again in accordance with your every thought. With each thought you think, those microtubules work hard to provide mental scaffolding to support that thought. And that scaffolding gives structure to the entire nerve cell and in the truest sense, alerts your brain. Guess how long it takes to finish the scaffolding that gives structure to the cell? From creation to completion, only 10 minutes. From the time you think a thought to that thought having physiological, scientific, indisputable change in your brain, 10 minutes have elapsed. Your singular thought has enhanced some neural circuits and caused others to die off, awakened others and, allows, and allowed others to go to sleep, 
and then built an entire microtubular city in some parts of your mind, leaving others a ghost town, all from one simple thought. Now there are two ways to look at this information. One way leaves us terrified and distressed. If I think one negative thought, I will wreck my brain in 10 minutes flat. And although that technically may be true, before you spiral into despair, let's consider the other way. If you have made a habit of thinking negative thoughts, you are only 10 minutes away from a fresh start. So I thought that was really good. With every po positive choice made, such as choosing stillness the way that we do in a yoga class, instead of distraction or busyness, we're training ourselves to use the mind of Christ that we have. The more that we make these positive choices, the more reflexive that approach becomes. We said at first that a shift in our minds is possible, but as we practice, that shift, becomes, that shift in our minds becomes probable and predictable, and then utterly instinctive to us. Eventually, we get to the place where we don't even realize we're interrupting our negative thinking in order to choose the mind of Christ because that impulse has become so ingrained, like cutting a road through the woods. Training ourselves to take the path in our thinking, that, that path in our thinking is crucial because when the pressure's on, when we are stressed out and hurting, how we practice is how we will play. So I thought that was really cool. And I just love what she said about from one simple thought, you are only 10 minutes away from a fresh start. So just intersecting whatever is going on in your mind, any spirals or any negativity, intersecting those thoughts with one, one positive, one true thought can change the structure of your brain in the next 10 minutes. I don't know if my friend Julia is on here, but she's a neuroscientist, so I hope that everything I said was true. But I read it from a book. Okay, well, any any requests today? Uh, we're going to get started. I dropped a playlist in the description as well, so you can put that on in the background if you'd like. And then go ahead and find a comfortable seated position on your mat. Close your eyes, maybe rest your hands on your knees, or bring hands through heart center. And just take an inventory of what you're thinking. Start to, start to notice the path that your thoughts have been taking as you started your morning. And then begin to let go and embrace that idea that you are only 10 minutes away from a fresh start. Begin to notice your breath just the way it is. No need to change anything now. Inhale, exhale. Finding a long spine, rooting down through your sits bones, finding a little bit more length. Lift the heart, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Slightly tuck the chin. And from that length, begin to deepen and lengthen the breath. Inhaling fully, feeling the expansion of the low belly. And exhaling completely, lengthening the exhale. Inhale, exhale. 
exhale. And then begin, you can keep your eyes closed if you'd like or open them. Begin by tucking the chin to the chest, creating length in the back of the neck. And then gently take your chin over to the left shoulder. And as you exhale, come back to your center. And then inhale to the other side. Come back to your center, chin to chest. Find a little more length in the back of the neck. And then lift your gaze and take your ear to your shoulder. If you want to go deeper, you can gently rest fingertips along the side of the head above the ear. And extend opposite arm with peace fingers. Come back to your center and switch sides to opposite shoulder. And then release. Take your hands out wide to a T. Slightly lift the heart. And then draw your hands around your shoulders and give yourself a hug. You can round forward, maybe sway from side to side, tuck the chin. Come back through center and open up, taking opposite arm on top and giving yourself a hug. Opening up, this time moving to a tricep stretch. Taking the left arm up and over, bending the elbow, and then reaching for the elbow with the right hand. So your fingertips are reaching down towards the center of your back. Find that length in your spine, opening through the heart space. And then reach up and over, adding a side body opener to our tricep stretch. Back to your center and switch sides. Nice job. Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. Reach up and over. Side body stretch. And then come through center. Bring your palms out wide, pressing the palms apart and bringing fingertips to the mat. Then planting your left hand on the ground, reach up and over with the right. Moving into a full side body stretch, you can bend into that elbow as much as you'd like, even bringing the forearm onto the ground if it feels good. And then come up through center and switch sides. Back through center, take a gentle spinal twist to the left, binding hand to knee, propping up on fingertips, and turning your gaze over your shoulder. Slowly unwind and switch sides. Gentle spinal twist to the right. And then come back through center, take fingertips to the shoulders and begin to take the elbows in circles, rolling the shoulders around and back. Going three or four times, you can make this movement as small or as big as you would like. And then gently switch directions. Bringing shoulders forward. And 
and then release and transition to child's pose, taking the knees wide, sinking the hips to the heels. Join the floor, head to the mat, and come back to that breath, to that deeper, longer breath here. Inhaling fully, feeling the expansion of the low belly towards the floor, and exhaling slowly and completely. Taking one more complete breath here in child's pose. And then rising up, stacking joints in tabletop. Engage through the low belly, find length in the spine. Turn your gaze down so it's between your fingertips. And then extend the right leg out long. Lift the heel, flex the foot. Notice the glute engage. And then bend the knee and draw it to the elbow. Extend and then bend elbow to knee, coming out to the side. And one more time. Extend and then match with opposite arm extended, reaching through the fingertips and the heel, and then lowering down. Switching sides, extending the left heel out long, flex the foot, lift the heel, and then bend the knee and draw it along to the side of the elbow. Extend, and then elbow to knee, staying engaged through the core. Extend, and then match opposite arm extension and just reach. Try to find some traction in the spine, reaching through the heel, through the fingertips. And then lowering back down, begin to flow through cat-cow, completing our spinal warm-up. Gaze up for cow, and tuck the chin for cat. We'll flow through four or five times, moving to the rhythm of your breath. And you can make these movements, again, as small or as big as you like. Noticing any areas of tension or tightness. Noticing where you might need a little more attention during our practice. through center, untuck the toes, and then sink the hips to the heels in a narrow child's pose. Bring your forehead to the mat. Let your heart rest on the thighs. And take a full breath here. And then rising up, tuck the toes, Lift the knees and walk the feet forward to our first forward fold at the top of the mat. Waking up the backs of the legs, maybe sway from side to side. Let your head hang heavy as if the crown of the head is reaching for the floor. Deeply bend right knee, and then reach fingertips out long towards that bent knee, and just sink a little deeper into the forward fold, maybe noticing a deeper stretch through the hamstring and into the glute on the opposite side. And switch sides. Deeply bending opposite knee and walking fingertips towards that bend. Bring 
fingertips through center, and then take palms to shins. Inhale, find halfway lift. Find a long, straight spine. And then exhale, fold forward. Take that length with you and find a deeper forward fold. Bend the knees and rise up to mountain pose. Rolling the shoulders down and back, engaging through the low belly. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, hands through heart. Great job. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward with a long spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands and step back to plank. Hold here, engage through the low belly, press into the palms, press into the fingertips. And then draw your elbows in, tucking them in tightly to the rib cage as you lower down for chaturanga. Inhale through upward facing dog. Hold here in our first upward facing dog. Find as much length through the low back as you can, moving into the thoracic spine. Press into the palms. Knees are lifted. Toes pressing in. Gaze forward. And then turn your gaze over one shoulder. Come back through center. Take your gaze over the other shoulder. Take your gaze forward, engage through the core, press into the palms, lift the hips, and press to our first downward dog. Deeply bending one knee, and then the other. Sway the hips from side to side. And take the right leg high, flex the foot, lift the heel, bend the knee and draw it through, stepping forward and lowering the back knee, coming to a low lunge. Nice job. Taking fingertips high, and then exhale, hands through heart. Reach fingertips for the floor, straighten the front leg, flex the front foot, and then bend the elbows to draw the heart forward. And then coming back to a low lunge, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, planting your hand on the inside of that front foot, and then reach up and open for a revolved twist. You're right. Lowering that hand down, press into the palms and step straight back to three-legged dog. Lowering back to center and downward facing dog. Getting ready to switch sides. Take the left leg high. Flex the foot, lift the heel. And then bend the knee and step forward. Coming to low lunge on this side. Reach the fingertips high. Inhale and exhale. Hands through heart. Inhale, draw the thumbs into the sternum. Find a little more length. And then exhale. Drop the fingertips to the mat. Straighten the front leg. Flex the foot, fold forward to whatever depth feels good. Come back to low lunge. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Plant your hand and open up for a revolved twist on this side. Beautiful, guys. Nice job. Lowering the fingertips back down, press into the palms, and step straight back to three-legged dog. And then lower that foot and press 
listen to center at Downward Facing Dog, melt the heart. Inhale to the toes, exhale, walk, step, or hop, leaning in forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, find the length. Exhale, fold. Deeply bend the knees. Come all the way up to high mountain, sweeping the hands high. Inhale, exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands and step or hop to plank. Flow through chaturanga and plank if you choose. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Nice job. Take a full breath once you get to downward dog. Take the right leg high. Flex the foot, lift the heel, and then bend the knee and step forward. Just like we did before, lower the back knee, sweep the fingertips high, inhale, exhale, hands through heart, find a little more length, press the palms together, draw the thumbs into the heart space. Inhale, hands high, exhale, lower the fingertips down, straighten the front leg for half splits. Flex the foot, bend through the elbows, find some depth. And then walk the fingertips forward, coming back to low lunge with a bend in the front knee. Tuck the back toes, and we're moving to revolved twist. So lift the back knee from runner's lunge, open up into revolved twist, and then here, it'll be a little bit different. So from here, really engage through your lower body. Find a, find a strong foundation, pressing into the toes, into the feet. Lift up onto the fingertips, taking your weight out of that grounded hand. And then engage through the core and lift straight up to revolved crescent. Great job. Unwind, drawing that back hand forward. Sinking into crescent and center. And then sweep opposite hand open, transition to warrior two. Hips are open towards the long edge of the mat, a 90 degree bend in the, in the front knee, and the back foot is parallel to the edge of the mat. Gaze forward, reach the fingertips apart, reach forward, extended side angle. And then come through center and reach back, reverse warrior. And then cartwheel the arms down, coming all the way back. You can take a chaturanga here or you can press straight back to three-legged dog. Meeting in center and downward dog. And take the left leg high. Bend the knee, draw it through. Coming to low lunge. Lower the back knee. Reach fingertips high. Inhale. And then exhale. Draw the hands to the heart. Find a little more length. Nice work. Inhale, hands high. Exhale. Fingertips to the mat. Straighten the front leg. Flex the foot, and then bend through the elbows, melt the heart forward. On your next breath, shift forward back to low lunge. Tuck the toes, lift the back knee, and plant your hand on the inside of that foot, opening up for revolved lunge. And then setting up here to transition to revolved crescent. So 
checking with your lower body foundation, pressing into the toes, taking the weight out of that hand, maybe lifting out the fingertips first, and then engage through the core and side body as you lift up for evolved crescent. Nice work. Sweep that back hand forward, sink a little deeper into your lunge, centered in crescent, and then sweep opposite hand back and open it up, open up for warrior two. Gaze forward. Reach forward, extended side angle. And then reach back, reverse warrior. Lower body stays the same. And then coming forward, cartwheel the arms down, transitioning through vinyasa if you choose, or meeting in three legged dog. Finding your center and downward dog, melt the heart, sink the heels, find a little more depth. Inhale to the toes, exhale, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop to the front of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Sweep the hands high. Exhale, hands through heart. Nice job. So a little bit of balance and also getting into the backs of the legs. Kick standing on your left foot, drawing the knee to the chest, interlace your hands. Hugging that knee into the chest, staying active through that lifted leg. And then gently release and cross over. So feet are crossed, find length, and then hinge at the hips just like we do in forward fold, coming all the way down, fingertips to the floor. You can micro bend in both knees to find the length you need in the fold. Drawing your gaze towards your knees, crown of the head towards the floor. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold forward. And inhale, rising all the way up, rooting down through the right foot. Drawing the knees to the left to the knee to the chest. One more time. And then option here to open up the hip for balance. Extended hand to knee or extended um, toe, hand, extended hand to toe, opening all the way up if you choose. Nice job. Setting your gaze somewhere that's fixed and not moving to support your balance. Release through center, hug the knee into the chest, and then shake it out, switch sides. Draw an opposite knee into the chest. Staying active through that lifted leg. And then gently release and cross that foot over. Inhale, find length. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Micro bend the knees. Taking the stretch a little deeper into the backs of the legs, the hamstrings, and the IT band on the outer edge of your hip. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, rising all the way up, rooting down, whoop, rooting down through your foot to draw the knee into the chest one more time, hug the knee in. You can stay here or option to open up, extended hand to knee, 
or extended hand to big toe. Don't look at the screen when you're doing this. It's too, throws me off balance. <laughs> too many little moving things. Set your gaze somewhere in the room on something in the room that's not moving. And then gently release. Come back through center. Hug the knee into the chest one more time. And then let it go. Shift your weight from side to side. Shake it out. Inhale. Find length. Lift the heart. Exhale. Hinge at the hips. Fold forward. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Lay up the hands. And step back to plank. Option to take chaturanga here if you choose. And then meeting in downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward and then pivot into skandasana. So deeply bending through that right knee, pivoting onto the heel of your left foot. Flex the foot, spread the toes. You can bring hands through heart center to balance. And then we're gonna switch sides. Walking the fingertips over to the other side. Finding your balance here. Nice work. We're gonna switch back to each side one more time. You can walk fingertips over or engage the core and Press to the other side. Nice job. Come through center, lift the hips, and come to a wide leg forward fold. Walk your palms out long in front of you, press into the palms, and then melt the heart forward, almost like a wide leg downward facing dog. And then take your left hand and reach for the opposite ankle or toes. Finding a deep twist. Come back to your center and switch sides. center and just melt the heart a little bit further. Press into the palms. Create a little bit more length. Walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Heel toe your feet in to just wider than hip width distance apart and then sink your hips down for yogi squat. Taking elbows to the inside of the knees, pressing the hands together drawing the thumbs in towards the heart space. Maybe sway from side to side. Nice job. And then planting left hand on the ground, reach opposite up and over. And switch sides. Come back to your center, maybe sink a little deeper. And release fingertips behind you, finding your seat, making your way onto your backs, and drawing the right knee into the chest. Hugging the knee in, interlacing the fingers just below the knee on the shin. Take that knee over across the body for a deep spinal twist. Go 
Come back through our center. We'll switch sides. Drawing opposite knee into the chest, extending opposite leg. Flex the foot, staying active through that extended leg. And then really drawing the knee in, creating some compression in the hip. And crossing the knee over to the spinal twist. Come back to our center. Bring the soles of the feet to the floor and move to figure four. So taking the right ankle to the left heel opening up that hip. You can stay here or interlace your hands behind the knee and draw the figure four into your chest. Maybe sway from side to side. Or roll over onto that right hip. Come back to your center. Switch sides. Maybe shake out that right leg. And then take the left ankle to the right knee and move to whatever depth of figure four feels good on this side. center and release, maybe extend that left leg, and then bend the knees, reach the hands to the bottoms of the feet, and take the soles of the feet to the sky for happy baby. Sway the hips from side to side, maybe massaging the low back on the Draw the soles of the feet together, interlace the hands on the outer edges of the feet, and open up the hips for diamond. And gently release, hug the knees into the chest, and Curl up into a little ball, tuck the chin, hug everything in, create some compression, and then release. Take a full body stretch, arms up overhead, extending each leg out long, point the toes, and then flex the toes. And then let everything go. Drawing the hands along the side, palms face, turning up to face the ceiling. Softening the neck and shoulders into the mat, releasing the hips, knees, ankles, and letting the toes fall to the outer corners. Come back to your breath, noticing the rise and the fall. invite you to stay here for as long as you would like. You can turn off the live feed and rest. Or whenever you're ready, make your way back to a seated position on your mat where we began. Keeping your eyes closed, 
finding that tall spine like we did at the beginning of class. Bring hands through heart center. Inhale. Feel the expansion of the low belly. Exhale. Slowly drawing the breath back down. Taking a few moments here to close our practice however you would like. Remembering that you are always only 10 minutes away from a fresh start. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.